Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Gemini. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. I've got my cat monster right behind the camera, sleeping in the window, and he just started purring really loudly. So you may hear that on the video. Um, so Gemini, I'm doing your reading with the, my triple stack of cards blended into one. So you'll see a mix of all three in your spread today. So we've got solitariness or desert on the split. And the seven of air at the bottom of the deck, which is really interesting because these are kind of opposite energies in my mind, right? Like this one's very uh, hermit, of course, with the solitary energy. But then the seven of air talks about things coming together, specifically beings or, or soul family. And, and, and this one's right below that too, right? So it's, so you may be uh, under the impression, Gemini, that you are on your own for a moment. That's the thing. It's for a moment. I feel like there's uh, a, an energy beginning to gather around you. Um, according to what's on the table here, here already, it's like you may be actually very aware of that, kind of the orchestrator or the creator of drawing energies towards you. Perhaps, I mean, because this one is the creation, or sorry, yeah, creation energy. So it's almost like whatever you're doing here in this solitary energy is meant to draw stuff towards you. And then look at that, the connection card right below that, the biome or the connection. So drawing connections in. Okay, well, that's really interesting because the way that things are, are showing themselves in the cards are very intriguing to me. Okay, we'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. Let's pull an overall energy from the Creativity Oracle. I've been pulling cards free for days, Gemini. And there's just been no messages for the last couple of days. I've, I've gone through multiple decks, multiple combinations, and there's just been nothing. But today came through very clearly. So overall energy for Gemini. Secrets. Oh, this is really intriguing actually. Okay, so this is secrets and it says, conceal plans and actions, and now my ears are ringing. Conceal plans and actions from those not ready to accept you as you are. And there's this uh, this layering of stuff going on in the in the visual with this bird in the forefront here. But then it's almost like this moon energy in the background, which I want to say, which I want to say is you, or it could be another energy, actually. That's the kind of concealment in the background. Um, so, okay. So what's interesting to me, Gemini, is that you seem to be very much in kind of a, a creation, manifestation, drawing things towards you type of energy, although you're still kind of um, coming out of something and very quickly going into that creational space. But what's intriguing to me is that there seems to be the secrets element is almost um, something, it's not that it's being withheld from you, but there's something that's not quite picked up yet by you. Is that intentional? The secrets aspect is almost like there could be some kind of intentionality in kind of keeping it just out of your view for a time. I feel like through this reading, perhaps it's going to come into view, but it's almost like, how do I describe it? It's like you're, maybe it's something like you're creating something really intentional or you got your focus on something very specific. But what's going to come in response is, is not quite what you're expecting. There's a bit of a surprise or something that's just, just unexpected about it. Okay, so that'll show itself in the reading. Okay, so where we're beginning here, um, Gemini, is the Seven of Fire, which usually talks to me about a return of magic, magic coming back into your life. But this is actually looking to me today like 
you are this creature here, this unicorn, and you are leaving a situation with the lake or depth card here, this um, this kind of boulder, or I actually always see it as like a mountaintop, right? Taking a leap off the, the highest peak, it was looking like this, right? So it's like something is, something is sinking, a situation is ending or wrapping up, it's kind of like jumping ship, right? Because because it's ending it doesn't have to be catastrophic or dramatic it's just that whatever was going on there is no longer and it's kind of like gemini is leaving the scene at the best possible moment is kind of how it's coming through it's kind of like none of it is even touching this is really fascinating because this has been kind of threading through the readings a little bit, this kind of idea of something big potentially is going on, maybe something kind of dramatic and or traumatic, but it's not really touching you. It's almost like whatever it is that's going down, right? You see what I mean? Something's going down. It doesn't necessarily mean, like I said, catastrophic, but something's going down. But as it's going down, Gemini is exiting the scene before you ever even touch the the water. You see what I mean? It's like as this is sinking, you've left the scene before it reached you. And then with the five of fire coming next, it's like you're landing somewhere else, kind of um, back into a stable. Well, that's the interesting thing because you, you were never unstable, but wherever it is that you are going to, it's kind of like you're settled in your um, you're stable very quickly and almost kind of feeling it's like there's this it's kind of like a sense of pride it's like you're proud of yourself for how easily you extricated yourself from a situation that could have maybe in the past it really would have carried with you for a long time or you would have got really involved or you know what i mean sucked into it but this time you're wiser than that is kind of how it's coming through. It's almost like you're seeing the signs, you're seeing the movement, you're, you've been here before perhaps, and so you know because of that maybe when exactly is the best time to exit that scenario. So, and it feels like it doesn't have that much to do with you. That's been coming through the readings a lot too. It's like something's going down, it doesn't have a lot to do with this collective perhaps this collective has been really good at kind of staying outside of it or exiting at the right moment or even being able to pass through it untouched that's coming through for you gemini but it's like you're very much leaving something behind the five of fire of course i always talk about as beginner's mind um, so it's kind of like you're landing in a fresh new space or energy and very quickly closing the door with the hermit card coming next. You begin the reading in that energy with the solitariness. You very quickly close the door on that scenario. There's just this kind of like sense of accomplishment on your part, Gemini, because you've extricated yourself, you, you're you unaffected by it, you didn't carry any of it with you. That's why maybe there's this visual of the door being closed quickly and easily by you. And then right on the other side of that is the transformation and the 10 of cups. It's something like, well, this isn't this isn't your first picnic, right? It's It's kind of like going through a big transformational moment right? Right on the other side of this. It's almost like, okay, I've done this enough times. I've been through these big transformative shifting energies enough that now it's like, you just know what to do. You recognize all the signs, you know, exactly. There's like patterns or, or, or markers, things to that are now kind of on your radar before it gets messy perhaps. So it's almost like you are gaining all of the benefit of this it's almost like in the past, maybe the circumstances kind of worked on you and created a transformation for you. But now you are, it's like you're able to gain the transformative aspect of that scenario without having, having to go through all the drama of it. You see what I mean? Because there's something here about, well, because there's the pearl here, right? In the shell, that's the, that's the hard earned um, skill or gift or benefit that is received from a difficult situation, right? So you're gaining the pearl, but you see here in the 10 of cups, it's like there's a string of pearls. It's like you're just adding it to a long line of transformational moments. You see what I mean? So it's almost like this time you've got it mastered. You've come through it with such ease that there's almost this kind of, like I said, you're proud of yourself. That's she's, she, 
I don't know. It's like the, the energy or the look on her face is just like, I can't believe I did it this time. This time, there's this sense of almost um, being detached from it in a way, right? Because there's these two cards coming up too with the, it says completion and cleansing. And I think it's the hands, right? There's something about the hands being in the imagery that is almost looking to me like you being outside of it. And these are big energies. Like, look at this one as the storm, right? But it's, it's held within your grasp or you're almost, it feels like you're, maybe you're kind of in that higher self perspective. And so you're, maybe you are going through this, this potentially messy situation. Maybe you are completely within it, but it's like you're outside of it at the same time. You see what I'm saying? So it's not impacting you in the same way that it was in the past. It's almost like there's a lot of kind of moving parts. There's a lot of players, perhaps. There's a lot of complicated stuff going on here, but it's like you're honing in on specifically the piece that is meant for you. This is the thing. It's almost like you're ahead of it this time is how it's coming through because you've been through it so many times before, right? You've got all these, these transformations already kind of in your pocket. So this time, as it's happening, you're like zoned in right on the exact aspect of it that is meant for you, kind of like the pearl. You know what the pearl of the situation is before it plays itself out. And then with this closing the door and the hermit energy coming very quickly, it's like, it's just kind of this like um, filtering out or cleansing out with the storm. Anything that isn't, it's kind of like um, sifting the sand, right? It's like putting sand in the in those sand sifters when you're a kid and then kind of shaking it or running water through it. That's what this is talking about. It's like everything that is is not meant for you or isn't yours or is not to your benefit is very quickly kind of filtered out of the scenario by you consciously, intentionally, because you know what's going on this time, right? And it's almost like, this is what it is. It's almost like there's this joy or gleefulness on your part, like, because you know the, the pearl that's there for you. You see what I mean? And it's taken a lot of kind of cycles and going through this kind of aspect in order to really, to realize that there is always a pearl. Does that make sense? So it's like you're um, fast tracking the whole process and just gaining the treasure, gaining the accomplishment, the pearl, and moving on very quickly. Is this eight of earth here? Well, first of all, it's talking about this space, right? It's like you're in this sacred space, this stability and certainty, which is really interesting because the uncertainty card is just about to come up. You, you are moving from a potentially very dynamic and shifting and stormy kind of energy into this completely peaceful, stable foundation, almost in, in a, like a blink of an eye, by choice, consciously. That's the thing. It's like you know what you're doing this time. You know what's going on. So that's what this talks about, sacred space, but it also talks about your work and your purpose. It's kind of like this, these uh, pentacles around the, or, the uh, instrument here are these pearls, these past transformations that have all been kind of adding to your purpose. And every time you gain another pearl, you're becoming more and more conscious. So it's like this time, there's something about this time that kind of seems to be clicking things into place in a really, a really sharp way, like sharper than before. It's just kind of clicking into place for you is kind of how it's coming through. So you are, you're, like I said, very quickly identifying what that piece is for you and kind of adding it to your purpose almost immediately. And then you go into this beautiful creational space, which is where we begin here with the solitary card and all these drawing of the elements. It's coming through so beautifully for you today. It's almost like, I'll just show it to you. With the uncertainty and the playfulness, it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the words on the cards whatsoever. It has to do with this is you here in the foreground, almost like dreaming up or creating your next thing. 
You see what I mean? It's almost like the scenery changing and moving and shifting around because of you. It's like this giant kind of movie screen, a projection screen in front of you, which is basically like your life ahead of you. And it's almost like you're flipping through slides, flipping through potentials very deliberately. It's really intriguing to me. Do you see what I'm saying here? Okay, so it's kind of like you've gone into your, your studio. That's what this solitariness card is. And it's almost like you're playing with the energies because of this aspect. This is the sacred space, right? So you've gone into the sacred space with the hermit energy as well. It's kind of like, it might not be an actual physical location, but it's definitely kind of a state of mind. This, it's all clicking into place. There's this, it's almost like this smirk on the face of, of this figure here that's like, ah, uh, I get it this time. And it's going to be so much easier and so much more playful and so much more fun to move into the next thing because it's like, I get, I get it now. There's something clicking into place that's making this next part really fun for you. So it's like you're in this space, which I said it could just be kind of a state of mind, flipping through potentials, right? Like kind of just dropping into a scene dropping into a potential timeline, something like that, and just playing with it and feeling what it would feel like before you make any sort of choice. But what's interesting is there's something about that and it could be this, it's clicking into place for you. Something about, like something has shifted. I wanna say that you're moving through this transition in a way that you have not previously and that like it's more conscious than usual and that could be that that thing clicking into place for you which is making this next part a little bit different okay because what's coming through with this comfort or hearth hearth card is okay it has nothing to do with the beings in the front i don't think anyway it has nothing to do with home necessarily or heart is it hearth i was corrected on how to pronounce that and now i don't know the proper pronunciation. It has to do with this fireplace in the background and all of the sparks and fire kind of spilling out of it. I sometimes see this as like a portal. There is a, it's like a, there's a, there's a, por it's, it's this clicking into place perhaps and this space in your mind. It's like something is opening up and it has to do with the mastery that you've attained this time, right? And it's like, and you know it, you feel it and you know it. You're like, ah, I got this. This makes so much more sense. In the past, this would have been potentially really devastating or dramatic. This time it's like, oh, I get it now. This is amazing and I'm gonna play with it. Something about that is opening something up, right? With this portal and the energy spilling forth and then this messenger of fire. Like, look at how these cards go together, right? It's like all this energy just coming in coming into this realm, coming into your being, it's almost like it's filling up your aura, which is really fascinating to me. I'm looking at this going, what exactly does this mean? It's like something is coming in, in response to, it's almost like an acknowledgement. It could be pure physics. It's like you've reached a state of being or a state of mastery or just a, a feeling place, a knowing place that has opened up something that is drawing in an energy into your surroundings, into your being, into your aura. And it's like, it's with you now. And that's the thing. That's where we go back to the secrets aspect. It's like, there's, I don't think that you're aware of that part yet. And that's the fascinating thing. And all of this, right? It's like all of this stuff coming in around you. So it's almost like, is it consciousness that's coming in? Some sort of a collective, some sort of something coming in. Like I said, with the connection card, it's interesting beneath that is protection, but I don't feel like that's part of it. Maybe, is it an energy of protection coming in and surrounding you? It doesn't feel like that. It feels very, very open actually, and almost invincible. So it's definitely not a protection energy, but there's an energy. So it's identifying itself as some form of consciousness, right? There's some form of consciousness, or it's like the energy that's coming in and is it's almost like it's merging into your auric field. It has consciousness within it. You see what I mean? 
and maybe multiple, like I said, it could be like a collective energy with all this gathering around you. And so it's like all this bird energy, right? So that's the interesting thing. You're in this solitary space, but there's actually all these birds. There's birds up around. It's almost like there's this energy that's kind of, it's like it's hanging around you. It's hanging around you. And now that you are it's something about this. Now that you're in this space, this really playful creational focus, it's almost like that's the signal or that's the that's the gateway opening up to allow this energy to approach you in a more in a more defined way, which is really interesting because here it's still incredibly energetic and that's really fascinating too because this is this bird here too, right? It's almost like this is the this is the portal here in the background. That's the thing. So this is the part that you're not seeing. See, even with these cards, it's like it's behind you because there's all this, like you're focused, you're focused on the big canvas or the movie screen in front of you and what you're going to project next or create next. But what's happening behind you because of that is this portal opening, right? With this moon energy in the background and this bird coming coming forward and it's like it's with you it's with you it's in your aura and you haven't realized that aspect yet right so okay i'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extend and see what else wants to come out about this uh if you're interested in that link is in the description and if not i will see you next time time gemini thanks bye